Shabbat Shalom and welcome to Thought for Shabbat. This week we read from the Torah portion known as Shmini, in which a tragedy occurs. Aaron's two sons die, and Aaron is left bereft, and the Torah records that Aaron remained silent. Reb Nachman of Bratzlav turns it a little bit at a different angle as he comments on this verse of Aaron remaining silent. He says, in youth, one learns to talk. In maturity, one learns to be silent. This is man's problem, he says, that he learns to talk before he learns to be silent. In other words, basically telling, telling us and instructing us that there is great wisdom in silence particularly when we're trying to communicate. I know that sounds oxymoronic, but when one is silent, they can take in what another is saying. Instead of thinking about what your response will be or interrupting or in anger or even in grief, to take some time to be silent, to think, to consider, and to just let the moment be is really a wonderful way to acknowledge the person who's speaking to you by taking in their words. And then hopefully they return the favor when you want to communicate. Also being silent is an opportunity for us if we're alone to instead of turn the radio on in the car, to turn it off and just be with oneself. To allow oneself to contemplate their role, not with input, but with internal put, that is to say, that which is going on inside. Sometimes we're afraid to sit silently because of, we're afraid of what we're, we'll hear. But the truth of the matter is being silent can reveal things to us that noise can never do. And so on this Shabbat, I invite you to take just five minutes to be silent with yourself. And then five minutes of silence when someone's talking to you. And don't respond, just listen and let it enter you. In that spirit, I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom and invite you to join us at 6.30 tonight as we celebrate Shabbat. And on this 182nd day of the breakout of the war, since the war uh, in Israel, really six months exactly, we will be honoring two students who won our Chasen Scholarship Award uh, that allowed them to travel to Israel last summer and they'll share their experiences and some of their thoughts. So please join the 630 Family Service uh, and for these two wonderful young students, um, high school students, they're not so young anymore. Anyway, please join us, Shabbat Shalom. Have a great, great weekend. Take care. Mm -hmm.